I don't think there's been like any Trifurc logos on pretty much any of these pieces. What's going on YouTube? Taylor Prentice is back here with another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the upcoming Palace and CP Company collection. So I believe uh, there will be some items dropping this Friday and I think they'll continue to roll out the drops as we go on. With that being said, I'm not exactly sure what will be dropping this Friday. So I'm just gonna cover the whole collection in this video. There's a lot of super fire pieces, so I'm excited to get into it. But anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, I drop two to three streetwear videos a week covering stuff like Supreme, Palace, Kith, Babe Drops, all that kind of stuff. So if that interests you, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. But anyways, getting into this video, starting off here, we have a peacoat. And uh, throughout this video, I'm gonna struggle with some of the names of these items because I haven't seen official names. And I was going through CP Company's website to look at their silhouettes and everything. And they just have a million silhouettes. Like they've got a bajillion jackets and everything. So it was pretty impossible for me to find the exact names of all these pieces without it taking all day. And I wanted to get this video out today. I didn't want you guys to get this like the day it drops. So that being said, if I mess up any of these names, I am sorry, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. But anyways, getting into this, like I said here, we have the Peacoat to start things off. As you guys can see here, uh, it's a little half and half, uh, but they have a rug version of this too, which I actually really like. And then on the back, you guys can see that they flip the logo colors as well to fit in with that design. Then we have some CP Company branding there at the bottom. And I may have said this was a zipper earlier, but it is not a zipper. It's actually like a clasp type of attachment. So keep that in mind. But uh, this jacket's pretty cool. I do think the rug works a little bit better. This style of jackets is just not my cup of tea really, but I think overall this is a pretty solid piece. Moving on, we have what I believe is the Batik or Batik uh, goggle jacket. So we've got that in a couple of different colorways, a black, a purple. I thought there was another one, but maybe we'll see that a little bit later. But anyways, as you guys can see here, it just has the goggles built into the hood, which is cool. It's got the little uh, goggle type-esque thing there on the uh, cuff, which is just like a branding thing. You guys can see it here on these cargo pants as well. So I'm not sure what to call that, but another nice little detail there. And I do believe this is a batik material too, because just how it looks, as you guys can see here, this is one of their batik jackets. And batik is a way of uh, coloring or just like processing a jacket. So usually this is made for items with patterns on them and it has a breakdown here of what batik is so i was actually familiar with the process i actually learned about it in college but if you guys don't know what it is batik takes its name for the traditional batik process where multicolored designs are created by using wax as a resist to multiple color over dyeing so pretty much what they do is they put wax on a piece and they press the dye or the color into the item and wherever the wax isn't the item will absorb the color and wherever the wax is uh, the wax will resist the color so it's pretty much what that means uh, learn something new every day but it does look like that's the style they went with for these jackets these pants and I would imagine these bomber jackets all look like the same material so it is that batik material but anyways getting into the silhouettes of the jackets these goggle hooded ones are really cool I really like those I like the detail on the left cuff and yeah, I just thought these were really cool jackets overall. They are going to be pretty expensive, which I think this whole collection is going to be pretty expensive. I didn't realize how expensive CP Company is, but it is very expensive. With that being said, they do make a lot of cool stuff and use a lot of cool materials. And I had heard of CP Company before this collection, but if you guys haven't heard of them or don't know who they are, they're an Italian sportswear company that is heavily inspired by like military stuff. So as you guys can see, a lot of that has made its way into this collaboration. But anyways, getting back to this, again, we've got those pants and the similar style of these jackets. I don't like the pants as much. I feel like maybe I need to see these on person. They just look a little funny fitting. Uh, the silhouette is a little loose in my opinion. Not that I think it needs to be like super tight or skinny fitting, but uh, I do have a feeling that these might be a little too baggy for my personal preference, but who knows, they could end up being cool, especially if you paired them with the jacket. I feel like that as a full look would look pretty cool. Then we've got some bomber jackets. So first off here we have this like baby blue bomber jacket and then below that we have a brown one. These ones are uh, pretty cool. I don't really like bomber jackets, but these ones are pretty nice. We've got the pads on the elbows and then we've got that little uh, circle design, whatever that is there on the uh, pocket on the sleeve. So. I like the little details there, not too crazy about these pieces, but I just don't really like bomber jackets in general. I feel like they're pretty solid for what they are. Here we've got what looks like some nylon, just uh, zip up shirts. It does look like there's zip, not a button. 
Uh, and then we've got some pockets there on the chest and then we've got some pockets there on the sides closer to the waist. And then again, we have that little circle design on the pocket on the left sleeve. And we do have some uh, print that says Palace Archivio, Archivio. Uh, sorry, I don't speak Italian, but uh, just another nice little detail. This looks like a box, like a shipping box or something that's just got random stuff printed on it. I really like the look. I think the text added to it brings a lot more out of it than if it were just blank. So I really appreciate that extra effort and design thought process to add that text because I do think it makes the piece a lot cooler. Same with these pants coming in the same colorway. Again, these are a cargo style type of pants, but what I was saying uh, about these where they look too baggy, I feel like these look like a more appropriate fit for my style. So again i'll have to see them on somebody wearing them but i do think this fit is much more my style similar to the shirt we just looked at just in a darker green color versus that like beige or whatever and then same thing with the pants and with that being said i do think i like these beige ones more than these green ones but they're both very wearable colors i just think the beige ones are a little bit cleaner then we've got some jacquard knit sweaters so as you guys can see here it's just got a little x design with some like arrows going through it and the uh, big middle part says cp palace I like this design, uh, it's almost kind of nostalgic. I don't really like the purple one as much, it's just kind of hard to tell what's going on with the purple and the black, but this like cream, and I think that's, I can't tell if that's dark, like a really dark brown or if that's actually black. If it's a darker brown, I feel like that's cooler than black, but either way, I think this was a really solid piece and definitely a good piece for the winter time. Then here we've got some uh, hoodies and some sweatpants with a couple different materials. I'm not sure, this almost looks like a fleece, but I'm not 100% sure that it is fleece. It might just be a typical cotton knit, but then we got more of a like nylon material there to add some flair to these pieces. And these hoodies do have a built-in goggles as well. So that's cool. And then it just says CP Palace there in the middle of these hoodies. I feel like I don't really like the added material on the pocket. I feel like it would have been cooler maybe if it was just on the hood. And I don't really like the CP Palace branding. I don't know. Uh, as far as the collection goes these were one of my least favorite pieces but i really like the goggles built into the hood so there's pieces or there's parts of this piece that i really like and parts that i just don't like that much moving on to the sweatpants i think the uh like two-tone material usage and like color usage works better here again i like that little circle detail and these are something i could definitely see myself wearing uh in probably the blue colorway i think the the blue adds a lot more than the black does i feel like the black there's a lot of sweatpants out there that look like that but this blue color is pretty cool and again we have the sweatshirt in the black as well so yeah just your color preference there but like i said i do like the blue ones more i think here we've got some crew necks with a little crest in the middle i really like these uh very clean very classic look i can't tell exactly what all this is saying just original garments sportswear for all seasons can't tell I don't know I can't read that but anyways I really like the way this looks I think this like pink salmon color is my favorite but this green one is good too and then the purple is pretty clean too it's a very pleasant purple color in my opinion but yeah I thought these were really solid then we've got some graphic tees so it just says CP Palace and then in the background has a guy that looked like he was working on cars or something I, these are alright uh, they look like something you would get like from polo like Ralph Lauren but uh, I don't know they're all right that's kind of how i feel about them not too strongly either way then we have some built-in goggle balaclavas and these are super baller these are something that i would definitely love to have even though i never really go outside in cold weather but if i were ever out in cold weather this would be super cool the goggles are awesome i really like that like orange hue that they've worked in there and then it does say palace and cp company on the goggles so yeah these are super cool uh supreme is releasing some like puffer balaclavas with cordura that are really cool this week so really good week for balaclavas but really all the built-in goggle stuff from cp company i thought was pretty cool so might be a little bit biased on those pieces but yeah these balaclavas were super sick and i think the blue one is actually cooler than the black one just because you can see like the knitting and ribbing and everything but regardless they're both super cool then we've got some camp caps it looks like um it does look like these are like a nylon material and it looks like they've got flaps on the back so i'm not sure if those come down over your ears or if they just flip down like on the back of your head so we'll have to wait on more images of those once we get them but uh, these are all right nothing too crazy going on pretty basic hats then we've got some boots i actually really like the way these look the color blocking on these is super cool i prefer these uh like green beige tan ish ones over these purple and black ones but i think these are both really cool 
like I said, the color blocking is really nice. This material that they've added here does a lot for the shoe in my opinion. And I like the eyelets and the uh, shoestrings. Just overall, they did a good job here. Similar to those Jacquard knit sweaters from earlier, we have some socks in the same colorways and the same materials. I think, again, I just like this uh, this colorway a lot better than the purple. It's just kind of hard to tell what's going on with the all purple and black. Then we have some fanny packs. Again, we have that little circle design thing, whatever that is. I have no idea what to call that. So if anyone knows what to call that, leave a comment down below. Let me know. But anyways, it's got that little thing on there. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's any branding. And with that being said, I don't think there's been like any Triferg logos on pretty much any of these pieces besides the Pico. So, I don't know, that's pretty interesting. We'll have to see if they snuck some more Trifergs in there that we're not seeing in these pictures. That'll be interesting to see. But anyways, yeah, these fanny packs, they're all right. I mean, I don't really have too much to say about fanny packs. Again, I do like just how they've uh, altered the colors on these different colorways for that little design circle thing. Uh, the pink hues right here look really cool and the orange looks really cool in that purple So big shout out to them for taking the time to make two separate things because I do think we've seen this orange hue Enough throughout the collection that this pink one Like kind of surprises you when you see it on something, but it looks really clean too And then to wrap it all up we have what I believe is a rug So this might be a towel, but I do think it's a rug and this is just that design from the Pico at the beginning So we've got the like half and half colorways I think this is a cool design. I think it works with the two-tone brown colors. And I like how they've got the CP company on both sides. Really, I think this is pretty solid. Definitely gives me rug vibes more than a towel, but I wouldn't be surprised if it is a towel. So yeah, uh, this was definitely a banger of a week. Like I said, prices on this stuff is gonna be pretty expensive, I would imagine, just because CP's prices are very expensive in general. So sadly, I don't think I'll be picking up any of these pieces, but they are super cool, and there's a lot of good stuff this week. So let me know down below if you guys are trying to pick anything up, or if you guys are picking anything up from Supreme this week. But anyways, thank you so much for watching if you made it to this point. We will see you next time. Have a good one.